What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Mike Nickus, and welcome to the Weekend Nerd Diversity. We'll begin this one with a study showing that drama classes can help those with autism, especially in socializing. For so long throughout history, theater has had a therapeutic sort of interventional um, purpose, and this is sort of exactly what's going on. Blending, unending, in a perfect rainbow. Let's move over to Virginia, where high schools are adopting an online and mobile-based concussion management system. Concussions usually happen after a hard blow on the field. Coaches and training staff must know what to look for, but parents too ought to be familiar with the danger signs. If someone shows any of these telltale signs of concussion, either during or any time after the game, make sure they stop playing right away and get them an appointment with their doctor. Volunteers out of Iowa have covered an entire town in purple for Alzheimer's Awareness Month. The color purple is the official color for Alzheimer's Awareness Month. Purple shirts, carnations, purple everything that includes purple lights on the Financial Center and Wells Fargo Arena. A man diagnosed with Parkinson's eight years ago has credited deep brain stimulation for allowing him to gain control of his symptoms. Electrodes were placed in Bruce's brain during the surgery required for DBS, or deep brain stimulation. They're connected to the internal pulse generator, much like a pacemaker. It stops your tremors. Like with me, it helps my speech, uh, my thought process, my balance. Now, uh, I can get out, walk, play with the grandkids, go to the park. Researchers have found that healthy habits, such as less time watching TV, can help kids with ADHD. Researchers looked at nearly 200 children with ADHD and more than 100 without it. They discovered those with ADHD were less likely to stick to healthy behaviors, including limiting screen time to no more than two hours a day, getting at least one hour of physical activity a day, limiting sugar-sweetened beverages, sleeping 9 to 11 hours a night, and drinking up to 10 cups of water a day. Looking for a new channel to check out? Then be sure to visit the Alzheimer's Association California and Nevada by clicking on the link at the end of this video. That'll wrap it up for this edition. Which story caught your eye the most? Be sure to tell us in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and remember, you keep advocating, we'll keep bringing the news.